Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about websites. Now, uh, websites for photographers are extremely important. They are your window to the outside world. They're your portfolio. They're the way that you can win work, let your clients see your latest work and uh, the quality and standard of your work. So they're a really important tool. And about a year ago, I decided to switch from a custom built website, that is one that some web designers made specifically bespoke for me, and I switched to a template style website by a company called Squarespace. Now, just before you start asking any questions, yes, Squarespace have asked me to make this video. They saw that I was using one of their websites and they called me up and they said, would you like to talk about Squarespace websites because uh, we see you're using one? And I said, yes, gladly we'll uh, have a talk about them to our audience because they are a website that I really like and I don't mind talking about stuff that we use and that we like. So let's go back to the reason I switched to a Squarespace website in the first place. The first thing was that when I was using a bespoke uh, built website, it was very difficult to get the designers of that website to modify it quickly or to add new pictures or change things on the website frequently. And when you're a photographer, you're shooting lots of different work regularly, or hopefully you are, and you really want to get your latest work on display as quickly as possible in the best format possible. Other problems that I was having was uh, as more and more people started to use these retina displays, the Mac retinas or uh, retina iPads, things like that, people were looking at my previous website and the images were looking a bit fuzzy because the dots per inch um, of the retina screens is much sharper and therefore the images weren't coming out as well on my old website. So that was another reason I started looking for a new type of website that would make sure my work was displayed to the very best. I started doing some searching, I started looking around and that's when I came across Squarespace. Basically Squarespace websites are a template style website but they're not just a single template. There are lots and lots of different, really amazing design website, web, uh, website templates to choose from. Now, the one that I've opted for that I've been using uh, for some time now just gives me a large full screen image area and I can simply click through from one image to the next nice and easily. Now, the interesting thing about these websites is the ability to customize them, change them, add your own information, add your own blog to them, link them into Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever it is that you're into. Um, but for me, from a professional aspect of dealing with my clients and letting my clients see my latest work, it was the fact that I could drop my images in instantly and that they could resize the high-res images that I dropped in and therefore make them suitable for display on lots of different devices, whether it was a mobile uh, telephone or whether it was iPad or whether it was a retina display. They looked great on every type of device. That was the key decision for me. The second thing was the usability factor, the ease of use. I was able to create my Squarespace website. Once I've got all the images together that I wanted to put on it, I was literally able to put this website together in under a couple of hours. It was that simple. And since I've had this website, I've also experimented with some of the other templates because one of the great things that you can do with this website is you can switch templates. So if you get bored of your current design, your current layout, you can actually just switch to one of the alternative templates in the range and offer a completely different look and different design. And you can swap and do this as many times as you like. Now, based on all the advantages and the things that I've spoken about so far, you might think that this type of website could be quite expensive. Well, this was the other shocker for me, was it was actually cheaper to have a Squarespace website running than it was 
to have a custom website and paying for my annual hosting fees and all the rest of it. My, I think, monthly fees for my Squarespace website are about $16, and they've even got a cheaper option if you want a, a more limited amount of uh, storage space. But for $16 a month, I think I've got unlimited storage space. Uh, you get the 24-hour support line helping you with any problems you've got if you've got anything that you find uh, you don't understand when you're setting the thing up. So there's a, there's a ton of great reasons behind this website. But what I want to do is just show you my website, show you uh, how it looks, how I've uh, built it. And we'll go into the admin section uh, in the Squarespace stuff here and let you take a look at how simple and how easy it is to put one of these websites together. In fact, I've got some new images ready um, that we shot uh, recently. And I want to get these on my website um, right away. And I'm going to do that. I'll show you how I do it. And you'll see them. They'll be live and they'll be there in a matter of seconds. So let's go and take a, a closer look. OK, so here in the admin side of the Squarespace website, these are all my thumbnails of the images that I've got loaded into my people section. So it's really easy to understand. I've got object section is another one of my menus, architecture, business places, reportage, and even a, a film and video section as well, because you can add video links to Vimeo and YouTube and other videos in there as well. Let me just go back to the um, people section. So all of the thumbnails for the images on the site are here. And I've, if I want to rearrange the order of these images, it's really easy. I can literally just pick one up, drag it, move it, reposition it, and put it wherever I want it to appear in the order on the final web page. Um, if you want to see what your website looks while you're in the admin section, you can simply go to preview mode, which flicks you over to how the website looks, um, which is one way of doing it. Um, I actually prefer to just have that open there, and then I have the actual main website open in another browser, just that's the way I like to do it. Um, OK, so let's just, I'm going to add a couple of new images in. Let's, let's see how easy this is, because uh, this is really, really easy. Let me just uh, shrink this screen down here a second, navigate to where I've got these uh, images ready to go. And I've already um, made up some images ready to go on this page. I've got four images that are already, they're high resolution images. They're about 2,400 pixels uh, high by about, uh, I don't know, 3,600 wide. So they're sort of A4 size images. And I've left them in fairly high res because when I drop them into Squarespace, it's going to resize it, take care of it for me and then they're suitable for future proofing, if you like, for higher resolution displays. And if I want to add these images, all I'm going to do is just grab the lot of them and then drop them into the admin section. So they're now loading into the uh, Squarespace site. They're just going to take a little bit of processing time. And then once they're there, I can either move them to the front of the website or to the back or the middle or rearrange them wherever I want. So let's just have a look. So there's four of them have come in here. And I'm going to take um, a couple of these images up to the top. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move this right up as the first image on here. I'm going to take um, this image and I'm going to move that up to the top as well. Let me just get that one up there. And I'm happy with that. So let's go and take a look at that. So if I now go into the preview mode, we should, if we refresh the page, and there we can see that image is straight in there in the preview page. Now this is while I'm still in the admin section of the website. If I actually go to the uh, original site, refresh the uh, home page and there we go there it is in the other browser and I can just scoot over to the next image there's the other one that I loaded in there as well and that's how simple it is that's how quick 
and easy it is to upload your new images into your website. And as I said, you can rearrange them really quickly, change the order and uh, move them around. So let's just go back into um, some of the admin set settings on the site. And let's take a look again. So I could have done that with any of the categories that I've got. And I could also rearrange the order of my um, categories here really easily. I can add new categories. So if I want to add a new page, I can. And I've got um, even a subfolder of pages here where I've got like sub menus within the page. So for example, on this page here, I've got an about button and that's got sub menus of about Carl Taylor, our services, uh, events and workshops or different things that we've got coming up in the future previous media articles, and I was able to put all this information in myself really easily, put in URL links, anything I wanted, and I could do it all myself. I didn't need to go back to my web designers to ask them to do it, or if I had something coming up short notice or some event or some workshop that um, we were gonna be attending or running, um, I could get that information on the site really quickly, um, which is fantastic when, when in today's way of working, People really want things, the latest information as quick as possible. So this works really well from that perspective. Uh, additional to that, there's even a shop feature. I'm not using the shop feature of the website myself, um, but you can uh, integrate this into uh, e-commerce. So you could take payments uh, for certain products. You might want to be selling uh, prints or different things. Um, obviously, as you know, we sell our range of uh, DVD courses and training, but we've got a separate uh, website for that. But if you were selling other items such as uh, limited edition prints, signed prints, that sort of thing as a photographer, then you could integrate that into the shop section of your website. They've also got great blog facility, so you can tie your blog into this website really easily. And then there's options to link in with uh, Facebook and all the uh, other social media icons that you want to add into the website as well. Um, on my contact page, um, usual things like maps and locations can be pulled in. Uh, the other great thing about the site is the ability to study what's going on. It's got great analytics built into the website so you can see where your traffic's coming from, uh, where it's been redirected from, um, how many visitors you've had a day. All the information's there in uh, numerical or in graph form for you to look into and study and see if your website is really working well for you. Now, when it comes to customizing the website, it couldn't be easier. You can go into um, settings, you can change the names, the titles, uh, basic general information about the site. You can choose the different templates that you want to work with. So you can switch templates from the ones within your range or you might have chosen a different template to begin with and they'll have other ones associated with that particular range. You can check on your billing, you can check when you're due to make a payment or you can make a payment uh, an annual payment uh, and then you get a I think a slightly reduced cost as well. There are so many extra features as well for uh, those that know a little bit about coding so if you actually want to customize or tweak the site slightly to suit your own preference if you've got a little bit of coding knowledge you can actually inject that code into the website to make some of those uh, adjustments or you could call on someone who's a web developer uh, to come in and just tweak a few things if you uh, feel you need it. I haven't even needed to do that. The site template that I'm using and the other ones I've used have been perfect right off the bat with no other adjustments. Let's take a look at um, the design elements. So um, the layout of the site, the size of your fonts, the colors, and everything else is also really easily adjusted just by going into uh, the style mode settings down here. So now I've got all these options down here for the size of my menus, the size of my header, whether I put a logo in there, uh, the maximum size uh, of the pictures, the uh, buffer space if you like, the padding space around the pictures, all of that stuff 
is completely customizable in these menus down here. I can change the background color of the website, the font color, the text, everything uh, to customize it to look exactly as I want it to look. Now I'm not going to go in and start tweaking all my settings that I'm uh, happy with uh, that I've created here, but what I'll do is let's just quickly look at some of the other websites that Squarespace uh, offer or some other examples of their websites, some of the other templates that you might like to see. So if we take a look on the uh, Squarespace site, they've got lots of examples of different websites uh, for uh, different photographers, ones with menus across the top, um, ones with a different template layout where they're uh, a mid-size image scrolling across the screen. So there's lots and lots of different website templates that you can choose from, ranging from ones where the image uh, is a more mid-size, scrolling across the screen left to right, full screen bleed templates, um, thumbnail uh, style templates. Um, actually, interestingly, if we just go back to, um, to my website, I didn't show you that um, feature um, there just a second ago. Let me just go back into there. Um, so when I'm in the people section, you've also got down here previous and next image, or you can control it with your mouse here or on your keyboard, or you can go in to show thumbnails and then your clients can see all of your work as thumbnails, which looks really good. And I think on some of the template websites that they offer, um, you can have your home page set to be the default of all the thumbnails if you prefer. So tons and tons to choose from, way more than I can possibly describe in uh, this uh, short um, uh, example. What I can tell you is Squarespace have said to me, if you're interested in one of these websites for yourself, follow this URL that I'm bringing up at the bottom of the screen now. Use that URL, and if you want to purchase one of these websites, um, you can use the coupon code CARL, K-A-R-L. That will get you a 10% discount on the website, so you'll save a little bit of money there. And the other great thing that I forgot to tell you is, I think it's a 14-day free trial with all of their templates. So even if you're not sure about this, but you're thinking about building yourself a website or changing website, getting a new website, try out the 14 day free trial. That's exactly what I did. I messed around with it for two weeks, played about with it, found it so easy, thought this is definitely the way to go. So you've got 14 days for free anyway to see if you like the look of it. Uh, but if you do decide to go for it, uh, use that URL at the bottom of the screen, uh, use the coupon code CARL, and um, Squarespace will then see how we sent our wonderful audience over to them, and that'll be a big help for us too. Thanks very much for listening. Hope you found that useful uh, regarding photographers' websites.